Um, what? What, Dom? Um, the coin? Are you okay? Hey, man. Hey, can you hear me? What's gotten into you? Where'd you get that job? Stop! Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a great day and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be playing Rotten Paradise. Where a group of friends go on a vacation during the spooky season in Australia. But, you know, since giant spiders and deadly drop bears live there... Um, things are probably not gonna go all that great. So, let's get started. This game is a work of fiction. There may be contents of fast slope... ...phobia including themes of mild blood and all sorts of other bad things. Oh, okay, this is a basic explanation of the controls. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good characters. Um, Bible quote. Ooh, well, the sprite work is actually really good. I like the music too. And the art. Uh, I swear I had my alarm set up. Bloody hell. Hope I'm not lost. Yeah, this is definitely Australia. This should be where we're supposed to meet up. I wonder where. Hey. Well, look who it is. June over here. Sassy voice. What? She's here? No, 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 wait. Don't come here just yet. Oh, I'm coming, all right. Not like that, though, Chan. Um, How do we move? Oh, it's the arrow keys. Got it. Now then, pay up. As I'm gonna you ASD for a moment. Duh. You guys already made me a bet. Bet you'd be last. The one time you came in early, and it had to be today. Man, why couldn't you just come a little later? What were you guys planning, anyway? Hey, it's starting to sound like you just want me to leave. Maybe. I mean, this is a horror game, after all. Wait, no, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I'm just messing with you. Ooh, heh, that, that, that. Yeah, it said you're normally really lazy and messy and forgetful, so. Oh, jeez, just spit it out already. No offense. Oh, no, I totally agree. I surprised myself, too. Don't even worry about it. Well... I mean, she is pretty transparent about it. You yeah, thank God. I knew something was all for Vaughn to be that happy to see me anyway. Please, you should go appreciate it to have a friend who knows you so well. It should also be appreciated to have a friend who is probably going to die with you. What? You knew I was going to be third? Not specifically third. 
But I assume you probably stayed up at night since you barely get any sleep when something exciting is coming up. Then ended up passing out near the morning and when you got up, you panicked thinking you were late. And packed everything as fast as you could before stumbling out here. Oh, she's got an annoyed look on her face. You can be quite fast when you're under pressure, after all. Sound about right? Yeah, sure. I mean, am I that easy to read? It's not necessarily a bad thing. It means I packed all the things you probably missed. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. So you forgot to pack all the important stuff. I mean, freaky as hell, but like... Anytime. That's a good friend right there. So there you guys were. Hi, sorry I'm late. She's cute. Carmi. Jumban. Oh. Probably already so energetic in the morning. Tell me about it. Ton of coffee. That's their secret. Gosh, I didn't expect you'd already be here. Whom neither? Eek, this is so exciting. You guys hang out all the time. Why are you two more excited than the rest of us? But it's rare to have all five of us. Ah, the gang's all here, Syndra. Whenever Carmi and I meet up, it's us unemployed bonding over the pain of other friends having responsibilities when we're bored. Um, it took you guys months to schedule this trip. We still have the right to be excited. Exactly. Yeah, give them the right. But I must have taken away our rights. Our rights to party. What's wrong with you? I can't believe I'm being ganged up by on by idiots. Excited idiots. Heck yeah. Ryan talking about idiots without me. And the biggest idiot just arrived. Ryan. Told you he'd be last. Oh, really? I would have thought it'd be June. That's what I said. Wouldn't miss the ferry, did we? Gosh, I hope not. Else we're gonna be stranded here. I feel terrible if you guys stay behind just for little me. Ew. No worries, you made it. And most of us would have waited for you. He were being most. I wouldn't have mind having him swim over to the island instead. Damn. You know he can't swim. Exactly. Oi. Guys, look. There's a fairy. Day one. No, it's so much nicer than I was expecting. So, how long before poop hits the fan? Well, it is on an island. While well, I get us checked in, can you guys watch my stuff? We're not toddlers, we can handle it. Sassy voice. 
Love you, thanks. Yep, Bonnie can handle it. Wake me up once we're ready to head to the rooms. Oh, he plans on doing nothing. The first thing you're doing is napping? Chefin. <laughs> Not that long. Oops, stuttered a little bit there. With the cost, you better believe I'll be napping on every piece of furniture I see. Most people just breeze by resort lobbies. I mean, this place is pretty swaggin'. You know how much the management must have paid for a nice ambiance? Flush cushions? This is a lobby luxury you don't get at just any hotel. I'm taking advantage of every inch of this place. You don't stay in nice places very often, do you? Lame. Let's go exploring. Once we get checked in, I want to go to the beach. I want to see about scuba diving. Ooh, that does sound fun. Carmen said they had instructors, and you could rent gear for lessons. Oh. First thing I'm doing is checking the quality of the rooms. I want to see what stuff management cheap down on. Eesh, and you were making fun of my vacation plans. Hey, Vaudi, can you help me with the desert? I mean, with the help desk. They said check-in was pushed back a couple hours. Oh, no. On it. Jim, you're good watching our bags when we talk things out, yeah? Eh? But I want to go check out the beach. You're good to watch the bags. No. Yeah, I guess. Thanks a million. Alright, let's save. What? More dialogue? Oh yeah, this is a BN. Uh, is it over yet? It's only been three seconds, but... I am a little thirsty if you want an excuse to explore. Explore? Well, maybe not explore. I was just planning on checking out the buffet until we're officially checked in. Sounds like an idea to me. Explore. All right, explore it is. Hell yes. Okay, bye, June. Thanks so much for watching the luggage. I mean, bye, Ryan. Thanks so much for watching the luggage. You're the best. Love you. Have fun, Ryan. <laughs> Boy, who said I was washing the luggage? Uh, we did. You're a real one. See you later. Alright, now time to save. Alright, so this game does have multiple endings, so... I'm gonna create two save files according to the itch.io page. Sup, Ryan? Oh, there they are at the check-in desk. Pro a new hire. Yeesh, I feel bad for the guy. Laundry's chewing out underpaid employees like it's an art form. Let's check out the fountain. You think they'll get mad at me if I jump in? Nah, it's totally cool. I don't know, we are right next to the beach. Yeah, but what if I just take a little dive? Just a little, promise. Just gonna stick my feet in. 
It's low, yeah. I guess that should be fine then. You suddenly then push forward towards the fountain. You stumble a bit and thankfully you find back your balance right before you fall in. Nice. Heck, a hole. What? I thought you wanted a dip. <laughs> you punch him in the stomach as revenge. Oof. And it doesn't seem like it did any damage as he continues to snicker. Babe, gotta hit harder than that on those abs. And let's check out this guy. Um, let's go castways. I mean, pathways. We better say. Is this the buffet? Um, we got drinks, seafood. Desserts, fruit, and sushi. Nice. All seafood from the main course? Body's going to freak out about this one. Oh, but it's all caught fresh. Are you sure she wouldn't like any? I don't think she eat fish if it was prepped by God, dipped in the fountain of gold, and served special for her. Oh, does not like seafood. Last time I heard... I mean, last time I had shrimp with her, she described it as eating bugs. She's officially banned from my house. In her defense, I don't think anyone should be eating something dipped in molten gold. Oof. That can't be good for your health. Mm, what about the drink area? Alright, let's grab a drink. Want me to grab us some drinks? The fruit of our labor after all that exploring. You reach for a cup. Wait, what? Um, Ryan? Hey, what's your problem? Oh no, the zombies are already here. Mate, could you need to let go of my friend right now? Holy moly, that's creepy. Hey, you listening? The man stumbles back and rushes off somewhere else. Well, that was creepy. Bloody hell, you okay? Here, use my shirt to wipe it off. Nah, it's fine, really. Wouldn't want a little drink to ruin the vacay, right? I didn't mean to shower anyway. Want me to go drown that guy? <laughs> you know how I feel about violence, Gen Z. Oh, McCoy. So, what a... um... dickhead. You better piss off somewhere far, because if I see that bugger again, I'm dumping him right in the deep end. Ooh, she chose violence. Juicy. Sorry. Check-in's done. Oh, uh, what happened to you? Um, happy accident. Yeah, mate, forget to rain check or something? Some prick grabbed my wrist, then when McCoy tried helping me out, he splashed the drink right on him. What a dickhead. Want me to go drown that guy? That's what I said. 
Us stains definitely aren't going anywhere if we don't head out now and wash it off in our cabins. Inlet, get him in the tub first before drowning anyone. No, no drowning for anyone, please. Yeah, let's just keep it cool. Alright, come on, big guy. Oh, that's nice. The room came with drinks. Ugh, coffee in a mini bar. Time to be shout for the drinks on the mini bar. No, 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 no. No, what is it? Room drinks are never as good as they cost. All right, they nickel and dime me to death for that stuff. They hide prices so you don't know. And if you pick them up, they could still charge you for it. Th trust me, they'll know if you move them. Twamble scam. You're no fun. What if I get thirsty for a little midnight drink? They'll charge you anyways. And it's too late for room service. And I can't have any... So my entire vacation is ruined? What then? Well then you might have a drinking problem. Nothing to worry about, ladies. You got your own personal mini bar right here. Ladies. Is that seriously why we bother hauling your cooler? What's with the tone? I figured... You of all people would appreciate good planning. What do we want? Lukewarm canned beer. The resort has its own beer. They have cocktails I want to try. But that's so overpriced. Yeah, it kind of is. Overpriced for you, maybe. Oi! Alright, let's go ahead and say. Alright, I guess we'll talk to our friend over here. No. Something the matter, Vaughn? Nothing, just admiring the cleanliness of the room one last time before you two open the zippers of these bags. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, that must be the room with the bed. She's like the dunny. Oh, and that's Australian for toilet. Ugh, I'm already getting cabin fever. We're meant to be outside, and I feel like I spent the entire day trapped. Hold on, we should probably start unpacking before doing anything else, right? But I wanted to go sightseeing. I've been sitting down all day and my feet are already tired. Do we have to? The ferry comes back at 11 a.m. Monday and leaves 12 sharp. I don't want anyone forgetting to pass Sunday night only for us to miss it. Vaughn is super serious. McCoy should really shower first, so... And I gotta get that juice off you. Aye aye, ma'am. Everyone else, get to work. Super serious. Lonnie dragged Carmen and Ryan towards their own cabin by their ears while McCoy clicked the bathroom door behind him. See, the first mistake she made was leaving me unsupervised because we're totally gonna slack off. Bags can wait. I'm going sightseeing. Yeah! 
Shoot the map. Oh, okay. Let's see. We've been to the lobby. We've been to the buffet. Let's go to the cabana. It probably looks the same as ours. It better... It be better to go somewhere else for a change. Wouldn't want to hear Vaughn's nagging again. Oh yeah, you don't want to go in someone else's room. Let's see what's going on around here. Oh, I guess the fairy already left. Cafe DM. A little fancy. Happy hour, 24 7 drink. And not much else. Oh, are these personally owned boats? Beautiful dames chilling out in the sea. So empty. I guess everyone else is busy unpacking too. Well, we got the whole beach to ourselves. Let's make the most of it. Just walking along the beach. Hopefully don't get pinched by a crab. You know, just enjoying our vacation. All that good stuff. And this seems to be going on forever. Alright, nothing here. Wait, let me see. Shame Carmi's not here with me. She said she wanted to try the cocktails, right? She loved the vibe here. I'd rather drag the gang in later tonight. Easy. I think the sun's already setting. I should head back and find the others for now. Friday night. Zombie invasion. We talk to the staff or the guests? Oh no. Oh, there they are. Junebug, I was getting worried you got lost or something. Or eaten by a park. I mean, a pack of sharks. Stop saying that. I overheard the bartender saying they roam around the island at night eating their prey. Oh. Ah, jeez, Ryan. The sharks even pack animals? I don't think they're even local to the area. They weigh off the shoreline for anyone brave enough to go into the deep end at night. The only evidence left that someone was there is whatever guts wash up on shore. Must be a lot of great white sharks. And there goes my appetite. Ugh. Heck, stop it already. You're freaking me out. Wait, why would guts wash up if they eat their prey whole? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Lay off it, right? Besides, a shark wouldn't stand a chance against me. I would wrestle it. If any of us would be at risk for being shark food, it'd be you. Diddy. <laughs> Boy. I wouldn't go that far. Thank you, Fawny. Maybe it's a toothpick, but shark food's pushing it. Mm. <laughs> that, that, that. Thanks, guys. Not to be too sappy or anything, but... I really needed this vacation. Of course, this has been such a blast. Yeah, and how's the cousin situation going lately? You mentioned something about helping her last week, right? 
Oh, it's pretty much wrapped up. She's doing better, thankfully. Well, I do feel bad about what happened. I mean, she did just leave her freeing group. And I'm happy to be there to cheer her up, but I really need this time to recharge after all of that. Besides, everyone could be... I mean, everyone could tell they were thick heads. She should have dished them a long time ago, you know? Well, here's a recharging for the rest of the vacation. Ugh. Since the one that was the hardest to convince to get on board during planning. Wanna repeat that? Relax, I was ju- <laughs> Jim? Oh, no. Um... Oh, no, that's very bad. The guests are soon escorted out of the bar with support from a nearby staff member. Uh, I think we found ourselves in a bit of a oh-no situation. Didn't anyone see that? Yeah, she seemed really sick. Oh, she'll be okay. No, like the thing she choked out, what was that? It almost looked like some kind of metal. What? Why would she just choke out a piece of metal? I don't know, it just looked like one. I can't be the only one who saw it, right, Ryan? Uh, not sure, but it did look like a heavy chunk. See? How many drinks did you two have? Um, we're not making this up, though. Maybe it's getting a little too late. A lot happened today, after all. I wouldn't mind ending the night a bit early as well. I was planning to do some night beach reading. Planning of fun to be had the next two days still, right? Wouldn't want to burn ourselves out at the start. Exactly! Bye. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Saturday, let's party! Um, talk to Bonnie. Hey, wanna help me finish these drinks? Jeez, how did you end up with this many cocktails anyway? Pardon make me get them. And left you on your own to finish them? That cruel, cruel monster. Tell me about it. And I can tell you you're the best part. Fun? All of them are terrible. Oof. That's the best part. Only when I have someone else to warp. I mean, roast them with. Um, I've been ranking them on my own, but I need a second opinion. Here, try this one. What? Why is it so sweet? Ah, uh, too sweet. The description on the menu is a subtle twist on a fruity classic. And it tastes like they force-fed a fruit salad corn syrup. Exactly. Okay, let me try the next one. I'm starting to see the appeal. This one is described as a signature margarita bursting with flavor. What the hell? It doesn't taste like anything. And get this. 30 bucks. Oh, that's a scam. For that? Or that? It's a disgrace on the concept of bartending. It's unacceptable. 
It's impressive how easily I learn to love hating things when you're around. That's a good friend. That's what I'm here for. Alright, let's see who's up next. There's our friend, um, McCoy. I guess he's just enjoying the ocean breeze. Alright. There's Carmen. Nothing me not in the water. You have your suit on. Uh, I'm mostly wearing them because it looks cute. It does. What were you planning on doing instead? I was thinking about making a sandcastle or just digging a super big hole. Ooh, can I join? But Bonnie and McCoy seem busy, so I don't want to bother them. What about Ryan? Eh, he's being a total party pooper. He's what? Doesn't he know that's not allowed? That's a federal offense in the nation of partying. It is? And on your birthday, no less. My brother's birthday is in March. I mean, my birthday's in March. Oops, sorry, I don't know how I misread that. An offense like that requires a hefty punishment. Carmen? Wanna bury him in the sand, head first? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're gonna go next. Talk to Ryan. Having fun taking up space. Very having fun testering everyone. You call it pestering, others would call it bonding. Not when it's coming from you. Rude. Annoying. Annoying how? If for one, you're interrupting me. Interrupting what? You're not even doing anything. Just sunbathing. Uh... Sunbathing. Very important. Yeah, son, babe, you burn, see? Ow, stop that! Come on, Carmen, McCoy, and me might want a chicken fight, and we'll need a fourth person. My is not seem to be doing anything important, so... You and I both know she wouldn't go that deep in the water. And I would. Well, no, but you're easier to bully and peer pressure. Good point. Honey. Besides, the water's so nice today. You sure you didn't want to swim? I could teach you, you know. In the ocean? Not likely. But can you do me a favor and stop blocking my son? I'm trying for a hot day. I grab this for you, a hole. Eh, I haven't had this much fun since. Since. Hey, wait, do you guys see that? Um. That looks like an old man. Guys, I think we should go help him. Oh no. It's too early for that. Come on, you just... Me? Why? You're the best swimmer. Huh? What do you mean, why? I mean, you were a lifeguard. Dude, get in there and save him. And he looks like he's really struggling, so you... I don't know what's going... I mean, I don't know what that's got to do with now, though. He would have stopped if he thought he couldn't do it. We might get in trouble if we interrupted. 
Now wait a minute. What are you? You know what? Fine, I'll go in. Um, he doesn't look right. At? Sir, please, I'm trying to help you. Stop struggling. Oh, button masher. He pulled the old man back to shore. Ungrateful brat. Uh, excuse me? Ungrateful. Buddy, I just saved your life. When she takes back what's rightfully hers, you'll be lucky not to be left behind. What are you talking about? What do you... The frag? What was his problem? Oi, you good? Uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Rai. That was just really weird. He didn't hurt you, did he? Oh no, yeah, he didn't. He just left. I'm guessing I'm just more so confused of why they were acting like that. So everyone is also having a weird day. Oh, it's the last night. No, 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 I mean... Tomorrow's the last night. Um... Uh. Bloody hell, my head is killing me. Pay a glass of water. Um, what? What the? Um, the coin? Are you okay? Hey, man. Hey, can you hear me? What's gotten into you? Where'd you get that jug? Stop! Oh, no. Violence! Jin? Okay, he still got his humanity left. What? Or I didn't. I didn't mean. Don't. Just don't. Not cool, dude. I'll be over at the cabana. Don't wait up. Damn. He did a number on her. What the hell is his problem? All right, let's see where our next destination is. Man, it is pouring cats and dogs out here right now, though. Fun, I guess. Hello, Carmi, Vaughn, Ryan. Can one of you open this door, please? I really don't want to have to get another key. Come on. Guys, it's really cold out here. Guys? The front desk probably has a spare. Where is everyone? This is getting weird. Ring the bell. Shouldn't there be someone at the front desk? 
I thought this place was staffed 24-7. I hear noises. Um, that's not good. Ugh, what's that noise? Um, Bonnie? Bon, is that you? What are you doing here? It's like 2 a.m. Woke up hungry and decided to get something. Yeah, I can see that. Is the seafood good? What's that supposed to mean? Is there a problem with it? Am I not supposed to be here or something? What? No, not at all. I didn't mean it like that. It's your vacation. You can do what you want. But, you are acting a little strange. What are you doing here, then? Looking for an employee. I was gonna get the key to your cabana. What do you need that for? Well, I was hoping I could stay the night with you guys. The koi was acting weird, and... You want to stay with us? But we've already got three people in ours. Yeah, but... Do you really want to have to invade our space, too? Ryan's already sleeping on the couch. We barely have enough room. Couldn't you just talk it out with McCoy? Um, no. He just hit me in the face. I don't think I'd feel safe there, sorry. Uh, fine. It'd probably just take Carmen's room anyways. But if you're here, why would I take Carmen's? Do I have to explain everything for you, June? Bonnie, you're being really mean. You're an adult, and I'm clearly busy here. Uh, uh right, sorry. Uh, thanks for letting me borrow the key. I guess... we'll go to bed. Yeah, let's go in. Man, they already kinda trashed the place a bit. Where's Ryan? I thought Bonnie said he was taking the couch. Let's check door number one. Carmen's still in here. Where is she? Um... This place is a mess. I know there are drinks, too. Um... Carmen? Are you okay? Huh? Are you okay? I I'm fine, I'm just feeling impatient. Uh, where's Ryan? Uh, don't even bring up that jerk right now. Why? What'd he do? I told you to drop it. Um, okay. I... But if you really need to know... Started having a freak out, so I told him to let... I mean, go let off her steam. At this rate, she'll never take him back. What? Who won't take him back? Ah, uh, are you gonna freak out at me too? Um, no, just calm down. But I... Just shut up. 
I don't want any more attitude tonight. Either sleep it off or go away. Carmen, you're acting really weird. If you need anything, feel free to let me know. Maybe I should just sleep it off. It will all sort itself out in the morning. Go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Ooh, it's raining on Sunday. That's a bad sign. Ah! Um. June? What? Is somebody at the door? Uh, morning. It's only been a night. Why's the cabana this damaged already? I need to find the others. Alright, let's start checking. Huh? Carmen's not inside. Alright, guess we're gonna have to check all the areas. Um, what the... Carmen? Carmen? What are you doing out here? You're gonna get soaked. Carmen, are you listening? Are you even awake? Go away! Stop annoying me. Can you not take a hint? I'm busy. You're just lying there in the rain. Koi, I'm back. The Koi? Where'd he go? Let's check around the room. Oh, he trashed the place, all right. Um. Hello? You're still conscious. And... Oops. Are you okay? This is not looking good. Uh-oh. She... She's shaking. Oh, no. He sounds like he's in pain. Um, they totally trashed the drink station. Bonnie? Were you here the whole night? Are you okay? I... Um, she seems really sick. If you're feeling sick, you should stop. Come on. No, let go of me. I need this. You don't want her to lose me. I need to get the fish back. Huh? Who are you talking about? What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. What's going on here? Why are they all standing out in the rain like that? Um... We're gonna get soaked, but... We gotta do this. Uh, McCoy? Ah, uh, McCoy! What are 
are you doing out here? It's pouring. She's almost here. Who's almost here? What do you mean? I'm already here. Come inside. It's dangerous to be out here by the waters right now. Dude, you're gonna drown. I don't want you getting swept up. That's fine. I'll stay out here. Something is very wrong. Look, is this about last night? I know it was an accident. I'm sorry I yelled. Give it some time. Alright, I'll... Give you some time. Aiden! Hey, 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 over here! Ryan? Ryan, where the hell have you been? Jim, something bad's happening. It, yes, I agree. Yes, finally, thank you. Something actually is making sense. I thought it was losing my goddamn mind. So you noticed too. How weird everyone's acting, right? Yeah. And how the resort is falling apart, the weather is going crazy, and everyone on the island is unresponsive. Un. I just saw that my cooler was empty. I hadn't noticed those yet. That's all it took for you to start questioning things? Was your booze being gone? Uh, everything was empty. The mini bar, the fridge, the cooler, they drank all of it. I was mad at first, but then I started getting worried that they could be sick or could have OD'd or something. I don't know where Vonnie went, but I heard Carmen coughing in the dunny. Shite, was she okay? Well, that's the thing. When I asked what was wrong, she seemed sober. She wasn't slurring her words. She didn't have any trouble seeing straight or walking. She was fine, physically, anyways. Are you sure she drank anything? Well, it couldn't have just been Bonnie. And Carmen kept dismissing me and talked about how thirsty she was. She even tried drinking from the faucet. Just like Pekoi. Wait, same here. I heard some loud gurgling noise outside my room. Turns out McCoy had dragged a water jug from God knows where. The main bar was empty too. This ain't some normal dehydration. When I went to go check on him and make him stop, he got really aggressive. Yeah, exactly. I asked if she was okay and she... and said we should get her to a medic. If she started screaming at me to get out and leave her alone. I left to go find Bonnie, but... But... If I answer honestly, will you promise not to get mad? Ryan. Okay. Until everyone was acting, I kind of assumed it was a zombie apocalypse situation. You know, that's a pretty good assumption considering what's going on. Ryan, if you watch as many zombie flicks as I have, you know the responsible thing to do in this situation would be to isolate myself from the possible threat. I mean, he's got a point. Dude. I did end up finding Bonnie, but when I saw her at the buffet, I... I ran. I mean, that wasn't her. Wasn't it? I don't know. Besides, even in the night... I mean, even in the event it's not a zombie thing... Do you really think it's the best idea to be messing with them? We don't know what's causing them to act like that. What if it's contagious, or, I don't know, something's in the water? 
Uh, that's a fair assumption. I want to get them back to normal and off the island as much as you do. But I don't know if trying to interact with them on their level is the play. At least not until we're sure we're talking to the same people we came here with. Yeah, he's got a point. <sighs> You're right. Well, that's a first. We should get somewhere safer and regroup. Salta, I'm still reeling from you agreeing with me. <laughs> I don't want to leave everyone alone here, though. We can snag them out of... And then we can snag one of the boats and force them on and drive back to the mainland to go get help for the rest of the resort. You know how to drive a platoon, right? Uh, no. Fuck. Same here. The license for a car is probably close enough. Alright then, lead the way. The boat's ruined all over. What the hell? The rain really that bad? Maybe. But it doesn't look like storm damage. But what about the ferry? What? Well, someone's gotta... Shoot, hey! Uh, someone's gotta come for us, right? We can still... I didn't... I'm scared. Rightfully so. I don't know what to do, sorry, I'm just... What do we do? Come on, we're not supposed to cry now. We're on vacation. You, of any of us, should know that. We never did very well with a tour guide, anyway. We'll figure it out as we go, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And, girl. Ian mentioned something about a fairy, right? Right, the fairy. What did Vaughn say? The fairy comes back on... Sunday. But isn't that today? You think we've already missed it? Wait, no, sorry. I think I mixed up the dates. No worries, take your time. Yeah, Monday. So all we have to do is... Wait, one more night. Tomorrow morning we'll grab Vaughn, Carney, and McCoy. And whoever we can get and to get them to the boat. But they won't be able to radio for help. See? Now you figure something out. I just hope the island can survive by then. If it doesn't, then this business was doomed to begin with. But you really shouldn't have cheapened out and booked that hotel Carmen recommended instead. Hey, now, to be fair, they did have good deals here. And now we know why. Trollbron could probably die. But in any case, we shouldn't stay out in the rain for so long. Come on. Maybe my cabana is still safe enough to pass the night. Ryan? Huh? I can't sleep. Are you worried about the plant? It's just, we're not... I don't want to be left behind. Well, yeah, that's when we're waking up before the fairy gets here, isn't it? Not the fairy, it's... We're out the weird ones, right? Jim, someone was trying to swim in a 10 centimeter fountain. You're fine. Well, yeah, but... I know what they're doing is weird and doesn't make sense. But what if they know something we don't? 
she has a point. What if we're the ones that are wrong? I don't want to regret losing them. I don't want them to do something stupid while I'm not looking or be left here to rot. But I regret it even if... More if I lost than if I had the chance to stay. You said McCoy got aggressive when you when you tried talking to him, right? Uh, yeah. How about Carmen? Was she open as she usually is? Uh, no. Vaughn? What? Was she doing okay to you? But what about... They're the ones cutting you out and pushing you away, June. You try your best to talk to them. And we should still get them the hell away from this island if we can. But if what they're doing would cause them to hurt you, then that's not normal. I'd rather leave them behind than stick around with people that think treating a friend like that is okay. We'll do what we can to bring as many people as possible back, obviously. We're going to help them. But I doubt they want us to be dragged down with them if they refuse. Okay, I trust you. Sit tight, Jim. We'll get them home, I'm sure of it. Night, Rai. Okay, save time. Huh? What the hell happened in here? Ryan? Ryan! Ryan, Carmen, Vaughn! This is bad. McCoy? You're... What is going on here? Um... Uh, McCoy? Don't go in there! Hey, listen to me. I don't know what's gotten into you or why you're acting like this, but you need to listen. Oh, he's gonna die. Please. I... I just... I just want my friends back. I hate to break it to you, but I think your friends are going to die. No, no. Who is that? Ryan? What the? Oh no. Let's get the um whatever ending first. Um So, let's see if this is an everyone's gone to the rapture type of scenario. Alright, let's dive in. Uh, 
I'm not entirely sure what just happened. But, um, thank you for watching, everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye!